Hey all you people, what is going on? I am Not So Handy Car Guy coming to you from Not So Sunny Cape Cod. <laughs> I need your help. So most of you have probably heard of the Gambler 500 Rally. It's something that I've been personally interested in since Dirt Every Day built a van to do the rally. That thing was sweet. The premise of the Gambler 500 is to find a car as close to $500 as you can that you know runs and drives and uh, make it suitable to finish the rally. I mean, that's everyone's goal pretty much, is just to finish. The point of the gambler is supposed to be pretty fun, and you see crazy cars running it every single year. So this is why myself and some hand-selected, highly trained professionals will be running the Gambler 500 in 2020. See, this is where I need your help. It's not too difficult to find a functioning vehicle for $500. The difficult part is narrowing down which vehicle you actually want to take on the rally. So here's a few thoughts. Please let me know what you think as well. Thought number one, a Volkswagen new Beetle with a TDI. You may have seen the recent video of these guys straight piping the Beetle. It sounds really freaking cool. And I know that the TDI would have the low end torque that we need to get it through the mud or the, the sand. So it'd be really cool to put like a little lift on that thing, maybe some easier tires. The problem with the new Beetle is that I don't know if we can find one within budget, so we might have to stretch that budget a little bit, but that just defeats the purpose of the Gambler 500, right? That brings me to thought number two. What if we could find a Jetta TDI? After doing some research, I found that the Jettas you can actually get for cheaper than the new Beetles, but I have no idea what kind of problems these cars might have, so if you have any insight, please let me know. It could help with this decision. Thought number three. What if we can do a mid-90s Honda Accord or Civic. These would still be fun to drive because you can get them with the manual. The problem with these is the lack of torque. So how about this? A Ford Crown Victoria or the Mercury or Lincoln counterpart. You can get these for really cheap. They're durable, fairly reliable. They have 4.6 liter V8, so they sound like balls. But the problem with these is that they might be a little too big to handle on side trails. And they also weigh a lot, so I'm not sure about how they handle it around. Thought number five. We could go ball out and be serious and get an early model Dodge Durango. And I know we wouldn't have to mod it too much in order to tackle the actual rally. And I have seen some fully functioning ones for around the $500 mark. I think the trick is to finding one with body rust on it, but it's still like mechanically sound to race. Any Dodge Durango fans out there? And that brings me to my final thought. What if we could find like an old Silverado or a Ram or an F-150 because those things would probably make it through the whole rally. I just think the issue with finding one of those is that for $500, it's probably going to be a complete shit box. Because trucks just hold their value, you know? So that's why I think looking at cars would be the more reasonable thing to do. Anyhow, I'm really excited to do this. I think it's gonna be an awesome opportunity to make some videos out there. Any other cars that you think might do well in the Gambler 500, please let me know. And stay tuned for more content too, because I'm doing a video on this guy, and I'm also doing a video on a Tesla Model 3. All right, ladies and gents, have a good one.